Galatians 6 1-18 The Last Orientations of Paul to the Galatians Brethren, if any man should be astonished at any offense, you who are spiritual lead him with the spirit of meanness, looking for thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Take one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if any man take heed to be something, being nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let each man prove his own work, and he shall have glory in himself, and not in another. For every one shall bear his own burden. And he that is instructed in the word shall divide all his goods with him that instructeth him. Be not deceived God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth in his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth in the spirit shall of the spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we have not fainted. So as long as we have time, let us do good to all but especially to the household of faith. See what great letters I have written to you by my hand. All who want to show good looks in the flesh, these oblige you to circumcise, only to not be persecuted because of the cross of Christ. For even those who are circumcised do not keep the law, but they want you to be circumcised, to boast in your flesh. But let it be far from me to boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world is crucified for me and I for the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any virtue, but a new being. And to all who walk according to this rule, peace and mercy upon them and upon the Israel of God. From now on no one will disturb me, because I have in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brethren. Amen. Galatians 6, 1-18 Second Epistle of Paul to the Galatians, Chapter 5, Verse 16-26 Dear brothers and sisters, we are closing today the study of the Epistle of Paul to the Galatians in Chapter 6. Paul is giving the last directions to the Church of the Galatians. Paul's first orientation in verse 1, Paul says, If some man arrives to be surprised in any wrong thing, you who are spiritual, call the person in the east with spirit of mansion, until I fall into some temptation. In verse 2, he directs each one to help the other to carry his load, so we can fulfill the guidelines of Christ. And yet in verse 3, he says that people cannot put on makeup, thinking that they are something, and deceive themselves, being nothing. But each one will prove his own ability to do the good work, then he will have the glory in himself. And not in others. Because each person has to carry their own load. And he that is blasphemed in the word, deal with all his knowledge. And he directs us not to err because God is not allowed to mock deceive. For whatsoever a man soweth, he shall surely reap. For he that soweth in the flesh shall reap corruption, but he that soweth in the spirit shall reap eternal life. In verse 9 he directs us not to get tired of doing good, because at the right time, we will reap. As long as we have opportunity, we must proceed with all, doing good. But mostly for our non-faith brothers. In verse 16, he says that all walk according to the directions of Christ. Peace and mercy, it is about them. In verse 18, he closes saying the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be, brothers, with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we are closing the epistle of Paul to the Galatians, and Paul is giving the last directions, and the guidelines are spiritual, so that we may have patience with those who err, and that we should not glory in ourselves, and humility, and not to be weary of doing good, but always to guide those who still do not understand the gospel. And let us help the new converts, so that if anyone is discouraged, we should encourage him, and help him stay in the wonderful kingdom of God. Therefore, brethren, it is our duty to sow the mare of seed, and to water and care for the new plants so that they may grow and bear many fruits. Amen. Glory to God.